Bag of shredded CDs. Why do I have it? Somebody sent it to me. There's a mix of purple plastic and clear plastic, which is really cool. It gives it an interesting look. Some of the labels that came with them. And then you can see on my fingers, the dust from this also kind of looks like glitter. Basically put some of this in resin and make it into a bracelet, I think. It's been a long time since we've done a bracelet. So I'm just gonna make a super simple mold here. I'm just gonna cut up a mixing cup. All right, we'll hit that with some mold release. And we can mix up some resin. I gotta be a bit more delicate with my cup cut. I feel like I'm about to slosh over the top here. It looks well mixed to me. Let's grab the CD. All right, we're gonna pour a little bit in, mix this around. This is when we hope we did the mold right. All right, I don't see any resin leaking out of the mold. We're gonna add a little bit more shredded CD and paper and foil and all the extras that come with it. The foil kind of is the shimmery parts. To me, it looks like they shredded up the CDs, including the jewel cases they were in. Maybe that's what the different colors are. Yeah, that's, that's really colorful. I love that way that that looks. I'm just gonna top it off here. Got a tiny bit of resin left. We'll just top this whole thing off, because why not? This just goes into the pressure pot. This is really, really glittery looking. Oh, and check this out. Being in the pressure pot actually flexed the plexiglass and now this guy's got a rounded bottom. You're gonna fit in just fine around here. Hey Mr. Drill Press, you ready for your first snack of 2021? It's resin and shredded CDs. What do you think, buddy? <sighs> you don't need to call anybody. I'm pretty sure he's happy here. All right, let's have a look at that rounded bottom. Truth be told, I did need one side flat, and that will register up against the jam chuck. What is a jam chuck? Well, funny you should ask. A jam chuck is a simple means of holding things on the lathe. This one has a tenon, uh, should equal the inside diameter of this bracelet. We're going to turn down a new tenon so that this fits a little tighter. Shouldn't be easy to get on. First try. That's a jam chuck. Now we can turn a bracelet. And this is just a piece of wood. It kind of just keeps it all together. Even in the jam chuck, I like to have some pressure from the tailstock just to keep everything together. Cool. 
My original intent was to make this about half as thick as this, but now I'm looking at it. I'm gonna make it big, beautiful, and completely impractical, almost useless. It's, it's the Michael Cthulhu of bracelets. When did you guys ask me to make practical stuff? And I'm turning here with my easy wood tools. Uh, they make short work of this. I was worried that they weren't gonna cut really well through the CDs, but they do a great job. This is um, also using the negative rate cutter. Fifty, one eighty, two forty, three twenty, four hundred, six hundred, eight hundred. 150, 180, 240, 320, 400, 600, 800. All right, and now we're going to switch over to the micro mesh pads and do our final polish. This is probably my favorite part. You can see this just gets better and better. And this is the last Micro mesh grit. Whoa. Look at that. I really like the way this came out. It's funny because in a lot of ways it kind of reminds me of the glass that we worked on in the last video and then back in August. Uh, it's got the similar properties how it catches the light. There's obviously a lot of differences as well. Uh, most notably that this material can be turned on the lathe. With the foil, as well as the pieces of plastic, it just catches the light in different ways and sort of bounces it around. One thing that really surprised me is how red it looks. They're purples and then you've got the foil and then the clear plastic. But once it's cast in resin, it looks red. If I'd have known that it was gonna do that, I might have kept this for a Valentine's project. I would like to once again thank Total Boat for sponsoring this video. A lot of you have asked questions about the metered pump that I've used in the last couple videos. I will put a link down in the description for it. Uh, it's not inexpensive, but if you use resin in high volumes, it makes dispensing so much easier. It's just a no-brainer. Hold down on the pump, let it go, and do that as many times as you need. The other thing is, is I have no idea who sent me this bag of shredded CDs. I am so sorry. These usually come with a note or an email. I went through my email uh, and I just couldn't find it anywhere. So if you sent me this bag of shredded CDs, let me know in the comments. Thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you like this video, please like, please subscribe. That helps me out a lot. And I will catch you guys next time.